Hey, what's up, people? This is Captain Fehe coming at you with a bit of a guide for the Resistance 3 minigame that's on PlayStation Home. You can win up to five rewards, but there's actually six if you count the mining helmet that you see right here. And all I have to do is just first enter the space and go off to your right. You'll see there's a looks like a man lying down on the ground, but he's actually dead. So all you have to do is click on him, and you'll get this mining helmet. Now the second part of the space right here is pretty much the mini game portion and the first one's real easy to find. All you have to do is knock down a door that's off to your right hand side and just crawl through a little pipe and you'll get up to the area where there's uh, back of the corner there's a pistol. It's actually the Magnum from Resistance 3 so you want to pick that one up. The next couple items you're going to find, you want to go back to where you first started the minigame and head off to where you see the Khmer and Soldier just walking around pretty much. You can stay up behind them, you just don't want to let that little bar on the left hand side fill up all the way and turn red and stay red for a little while because if he notices you, then it's pretty much game over and you're going to lose all the items you have, so don't let the Khmer get behind you and see you. <laughs> but pretty much, you're going to crawl under a bus that's right here. And once you're done with that, you're going to see a bar, uh, a gate off to your right hand side. So you want to knock that down. And just once you enter the gate, you want to go off to the left hand side. Crawl through a little tunnel ish like area right there. And you're going to pick up a map. And that map is a wall hanging for your personal space. And also within that area, I don't know why, but I missed this the first time around. But there's a radio that's going to be in the center of the area right there. And all I had to do is run over and pick that up, that's an easy find. When you kicked in that door right there, you want to go back there and make a right. There's going to be another Chimera soldier. Just pretty much walking around, you're going to see a crowbar right there, you want to pick that up. That's the item you're going to need for later, as well as this next one, which is a silver key. I think it's a silver key. And it's going to be in another... Uh, it's going to be in a man's jacket pocket, so you want to... Go over there, just click X on him and you'll get it. Now if you run back to the beginning of the game, all you have to do is run up to a car that's right here and you're going to be able to open it. I think you use a crowbar for that one, so if you want the crowbar, just open up this car trunk right here and you should get the bullseye weapon for a wall hanging up your personal space. The final item, you're going to have to go over a ladder. And uh, you gotta be real careful with the Khmer and walking around right here because I know he caught me off guard a couple times. And you want to run over to the other side, kick in the door once again, then just crawl through a little area right in there and you'll get the last item which is just a trunk. Or actually more of a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, maybe a casket or something like that. But you're going to use the silver key to open that one up and you'll get Joseph Capelli's jacket for both male and female, so that's pretty cool. And you, to collect these items, you want to, don't let the time run out. I, do not let the time run out, because I've made that mistake as well. Uh, if the time's running out on any particular item, just run right back to where you first started the minigame and enter the restaurant. Uh, once you enter the restaurant, you'll get all the items that you picked up through your first playthrough. And then that way, when you go about your second playthrough, you could just get the items you missed on your first time around. So there's you don't have to get all five items on your first try. You could get one, two, three, or four, and then just go back and get the remaining ones that you want. So that's a nice aspect of this minigame that you don't have to get everything in one shot. I hope this guide has helped out those who are looking to get these items. And I'll see you all next time. Peace!